Hi friends, yes, I'm wearing the same thing I wore last night because I only wore it for a few hours last night. And yes, you heard that right. Someone was blowing their nose behind me. This man just came home from work. We can get over it. He is he's eating leftovers. We are learning that Mucinex is not the answer for him. This is the third time he's attempted to take it and the third time it's destroyed him. So he came home from work early, even though the other two employees are sick as well. I think they need to close down if they get worse, Jace. Just an FYI. Um, I was just trying on a new pair of shoes that Jason brought home. Um, the new account that we have. It's a brand you probably all know, Kizik. Um, this size didn't really work for me, so, um, and I might not, I like the style, I just, it might not work for me because it's a narrow depth shoe. Um, I do like it. It's for the ones where you can actually just step into it and the back is supposed to give in. So, um, I do like the idea of that shoe. But, um, this girl is all ready for cheer. It is. I've done my makeup and everything. I know. Breast Cancer Awareness Day. So it's pink bows, pink palms. Um, but we are in a standstill as of right now, one hour before we're supposed to be at our game. And that is because, I'm trying to edit, um, the, the place that we're supposed to go to our game. Okay, head coach is texting, hang on. I spoke to a coach on the field. Current game was delayed a little, which may work in our favor. He'll talk to the refs about sticking around for a possible late start. But there's no way for us to get then we gotta go to the there. island. There's no way to get onto it. And let, Oh, there's no way. All the way down there and all the way around? Okay, so here's the situation. It's just say there's, if there's just a threat and we can't quiet, get there quiet, in time. Just quiet, 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 quiet. You bug crap out of me when you just say like, yeah, this is I haven't even had a chance to say. Stop, Ash. Um, so where we live, there's a, an island. It's called Mercer Island. If you remember our friends, we went on a little island tour of Mercer Island for one of our little couples game night activities, date nights. Um, Mercer Island is in between where we live over in Bellevue, Issaquah, east side, um, if you will, of our area. And then there's Mercer Island. It's right in the middle of the water. And then you cross over that and across two different bridges. Well, one bridge, two different sets of water. And then you go over to Seattle, um, which is in the Puget Sound. Um, and our game is on Mercer Island. My phone is going crazy right now. Our game is on Mercer Island. There's only one highway, I-90, on and off Mercer Island. There's only one way on and off of it. And there is a bomb threat from a car who got pulled over. Um, and the bomb squad, as of an hour ago, was on their way to go detect whether this was in fact a bomb. It is closed down traffic to get to the island and massively backed it up for those who were already on the highway. Um, our game is at four o'clock. It is now 2.30. We were supposed to be there at 3.30. So um, it's looking like we finally got a hold of the coach at the field or the refs that are currently at the high school where the game is supposed to be at. And they have a little bit of a delay in the games that they've already currently been having, which this high school is very known for that. For whatever reason, we had problems with this la high school last year. Um, we had a two hour delay last year at this high school um so that's working in our advantage a little bit but it still means that our highway on and off that island is still closed we can't actually get onto the island from where we live where all of us live um, and it means we would have to go all the way south all the way back north up in the seattle area and if they open the highway back the other direction we might be able to get onto the island but it would take us an hour and a half hour and 20 minutes so far with what it shows for traffic and that's if they open the highway the other on the other side of the island <sighs> which i don't know if it's worth it but it's we're not, also trying to see if there's another high school we could go to and join in as a squad and cheer for another team playing at four o'clock 
or if we just cancel the game altogether. The problem is a lot of my girls are like Ashley and they're already ready to go. <laughs> Ashley has been FaceTiming with multiple of the girls from the squad and they're all dressed and ready to go. That was and just that we've took our whole Saturday waiting for a four o'clock game. And I know. And we can't plan anything because it's four o'clock and everyone's out somewhere. I know. No, so you can't like, like do anything with yeah. anyone. I know. And it's kind of stinks. Your hair even though you have to like. I know. So. It kind of stinks. I went and um, one of the one of her teammates um, fell this morning, and totally. I don't know if you know this. Ew. Lindsay fell and scanned both of her shins. She's all bandaged up. So she's not. And coming? so she's not coming. And she won the spirit stick last week. And so her mom texted the co the other coach and I this morning, and she's like. I got the spirit stick. You need it for the game today to hand it out again. And so I went and picked it up for her from her because she lives right by where I got my nails done this morning. Um, my nails. Yep. That's what I did this morning is went and got my nails done. Cute. Really so deep. I know they do. Um, got my nails done. Went and picked up the spirit stick from her. Um, told her I feel bad for, that she can't come. We'll miss her. That kind of thing. And now all this is happening. As soon as I left that, as soon as I left Lindsay's house, my phone started blowing up about, well, oh, that's a bad, that's a bad pun. <laughs> I keep doing really bad puns blowing up. All right, well, I gotta go tune into this and figure out if we have a game or not. The island is open. I texted the other coach, the coach of our team that we cheer for. Um, we go to church with them. <laughs> and I was like, we're, we're getting information from the other coach for the other team and from the refs. And they're like, we'll delay the game. Come on over if the lanes open up. If the island opens up, I think we can make it work. Um, and then I texted the coach, and he was like, we are on our way. They've opened up all the lanes. It's just congested. Um, and then he made it there, told us like what exit to get to um, instead of the main exit. So we are all in a mad dash to get into the car and make sure we have a carpool lane. We all have a kid with us, but you all um, should have a kid. We all you. should have a kid with us because um, uh, we need the carpool lane to even have a shot at getting across the highway. Um, so we are, and it's hot today. It is well, it feels hotter. It's 66 outside, but it's fully sunny. <laughs> we planned for a cold game today, didn't we? That's why she's just wearing her shell and not, no, this is the mock. No, shell. No, mock. Mock, that's the mock. Um, she hasn't put on her shell. Um, Cause it's pretty warm out here and I haven't eaten today. So I have my Coke. And I have brushed my teeth. And so <sighs> So we're gonna head over there and um, hopefully have a fun game. Uh, Jason's home in bed. Where's the spirit? He stick? feels like I chucked it into the back. Into the back. Oh, good, Mia. What she say? I'm sorry if I get there late. Oh. take us long to get here at Literally, all we have seven five minutes until we get there yeah we have five on minutes on time the for the not for our game. actual practice time <laughs> but to be fair i think i'm the first one of our squad to get here the other coach is right behind me she's carpooling she's people. got two of the girls with her um and other moms have said okay we're just leaving and that was like five minutes ago so we will be the first one to get there we avoided the exit that had the most traffic at it. You're in a lot um, but we made it. Game can go on. We'll sit and hang out for a sunny Saturday afternoon. And um Alright. When you down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay.
eventful game to get here. An eventful game through the oh, process. Oh, this half year. It's a little tiny bug. Um, and it was warm the whole time until the sun went down about, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. And then it got cold. It so um, we did not win. We are probably not, actually we are guaranteed not to go to championships, which is actually awesome because the other coach has to have surgery. I need to go out of town. We need to be done with, you know, games or whatnot. Um, but, um, for whatever reason, this, um, team thinks it's okay to say so. They're not appropriate in many regards. And they had extra kids playing on the field while that we were playing team. a game. That one was kid ours. was on our team, was Both. from another no, team. It was all three of ours. But even on our, on, anyway, it just was a little crazy. And then during the fourth quarter, one of their, oh, a whole bunch of their teammates and extra kids that were on the field that shouldn't have been on the field um, made some very degrading comments toward our cheerleaders. And <laughs> I didn't hear it. I uh, was helping it was another. Directed, they looked at me while saying it. Oh, it was definitely directed at you guys um, in a response to them doing a cheer. You were just cheering them on. Yeah. And so. Um, our, the other coach, she, because she heard it. Okay, okay. Um, quickly went and told their head coach right during the game. Like she didn't, she didn't hesitate until the play was. Or she waited till the play not was even over. Not it's just not appropriate. Yeah, so she told the coach. Was like, by the time the game ended. Um, all the coaches knew and they were pissed. They were, yeah. they were not happy. They were, um, oh, I need to go straight. They were not happy. Um, and in fact, one of the coaches at the very end as we were walking out, he was like, oh yeah, these boys, they're going to be running the entire next practice. So too bad they just won this game when we wanted to celebrate it at our next practice, but nope, they'll be running the whole time. <laughs> Consequences for bad actions, correct? You would make us do that too. Yeah, yeah, we would. Um, sportsman, bad sportsmanship is it's not in their contract. For. They signed, it is. So it's in their contract. We have the same contract. In fact, we may not play this team. We may not come and cheer for this team again. Like the no, way we've been. Not cheer for them. Not. Cheer we're not cheering. Heart. We only get to stand on their side, though. That's the only problem. Yeah. So we're technically we're still interacting. With them this is the third right year there. that we've had problems at this high school, and it's just it's they should get kicked out. Honestly, if they're going to continue having this bad sportsmanship, they're going to get kicked out. Okay, I'm going to go get her dinner and then we're going to go home and Jason's getting worse. So we're going to go check on him. All right, we're paused for a second. We've got our food. I just oh. got some nuggets um, and actually got a meal. Um, on a positive note from the game, um, the other team had a brand new cheer they're squad. So, they were, they were so, so, so cute. Nice. There, how many were there? There were like same amount, 13, 14. Yeah. Um, but they were little. But they were like. They were so cute. Third graders. And then they were so anxious. And then when we went up and their, their mood just was like, wait, what? They're doing that? Like they care about us. And the coach came over to us when the f game first started. And um, and she was like, you know, hey, I just want to introduce myself. I'm their coach. This is our first game, like our first season. Like they're so yeah. nervous. So thank you for, you know, saying hi to them. And then um, we sat, we always sit and watch the them. cheer squad, like the, the, yeah. the halftime performance, if it's a, an away game. Our girls always sit and watch and cheer them on afterward. And and she, and, and then at the end of the game, she thanked us for doing that. And we give, they we ended up giving them um, the, the gift bags because for whatever reason, we have a ton of extra ones. Because you guys were planning on giving it to a wee game, so we're out of wee games. Well, so you're give it that, that and one of the squads was supposed to have 30 girls on it. That's what we, that, those are the numbers we got. And so we, we made a lot of bags. <laughs> and so we gave them some of the goodie bags and she's like, I can't believe that, that was so sweet. And, and at the end of the game, she told us that like, that really like boosted their confidence because they were really nervous for today's game. And um, she's like, you really showed them what like true sports sportsmanship was and like well, what your team didn't do that <laughs> the team did not <laughs> but like anyway she's like that was really helpful for them and then they're they, so tiny and they just like didn't know they, how to like talk yeah when us. you have when you have to cheer on the same side um as another team you have to wait for the other 
team to finish their cheers. You kind of have to take turns. And we're good at doing that because there's a lot of away games that we end up having to do that for. Um, but it was funny to, fun to watch their, their girls. They just sit, sat and like, just watch. watched them cheer. They were like, like, oh, that looks so good. You could just tell they, they were like, they loved watching you guys. It was really, really cute. And um, so it was kind of polar opposites of good sportsmanship and not so good sportsmanship. Um, Jason is homesick. I just checked in with him to see if he needed anything. He might be spiking a fever. He checked it with the thermometer and it was 99, but it was still showing with a green light. Um, not a red light saying a fever, but he shouldn't be in 99. <laughs> But we've already gone to urgent care. He's already gone to urgent care twice. And it's like 65 bucks a time. And um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What about the emergency room? Um, our copay is $400 if he's not admitted to the emergent, to the hospital. So I'm not paying $400. No, it's the same thing. Um, so I'm going to go home and take care of him. We're not going to do game night tonight because he's not feeling well. I have a lot of laundry to catch up on and a lot of editing to catch up on. I think to be caught up and ready to start next week. So we're gonna go home. She, have you, do you guys dip your frosty, your nuggets into the frosty? Too well, is it? I don't do the nuggets, but I definitely do the, the French fries. I'm, I'm parked, I'm on the side of the road. Um, so are you all changed and ready to go? Okay, let's go home. <laughs> One more thing, the eagle that landed on our uh, field, <laughs> that was one of the boys, one of our teammates, mothers, um, well there, there's a whole crowd of them. They all had a tailgate party before the game started. We'll just say that. They were enjoying themselves at their little- A little too much. A little too much, because they had to show up to the games to like let the boys practice um, before the game. They just took their tailgate to the next level. <laughs> so by the time we got to the game, they were, they were you having tell, a good you time. Tell the, the, we're, we're just gonna say that we think that they were having a good time. Yeah. So when we got to halftime and the other squad had done their dance, suddenly one of those moms showed up in the eagle costume and made us run across the field. So he, they've seen this. But. So that's who that was. It was one of the moms. She was having a great time. She came over, took the the, you know, the eagle head off, and let the girls kind of run around. We may or may not have gotten in trouble for being on the field during halftime, which doesn't make any sense if they didn't have boys get in trouble for being on the field during the game. So it makes sense of that, but we're not ready to go home. Because he's a Mercer Island coaches. 